Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're out at the range enjoying this beautiful weather, not quite spring yet, but we're going to be doing some shooting with some rather unconventional shotguns, and this is just one of several. And these are tactical shotguns, but we're gonna be shooting some clay pigeons with them, which should be a blast, pun intended. But before we get started with today's video, guys, if you'd like to support us here at the Military Arms Channel so we can continue to bring you content like this, please consider becoming part of our Patreon family. There is a link in the video description below. That's how we primarily fund. If you join our Patreon family, you'll get early access to videos like this one. You'll have direct access to me. I answer all private communications, plus some other perks. So with all that being said, let's get started shooting some really oddball shotguns at these clay pigeons. Over the years, you guys have seen me use a lot of primary arms optics, everything from red dot sights to magnified optics. And why do I do that? Well, over the years, they've offered very good products for a very fair price. They have fast shipping, outstanding customer support, and that's why you've seen me using those products for so many years. If you guys would like to pick up a magnified optic like you see on this Daniel Defense Mark 12, you can pick up an optic like this one. Just put it in your cart over at pa.com or primaryarms.com. And if you use the code MAC at checkout, MAC at checkout, you'll get a free scope mount with your optic. And that goes for any primary arms branded optic. If you pick up an optic that has an integrated mount, use that code MACMAC at checkout and you'll get a free kill flash ARD for that optic. So please swing by and check out primaryarms.com. All right, so let's kick this party off with the DP-12. This is a oddball little bullpup shotgun. This one, like the KSG, has two magazine tubes, but unlike the KSG, it also has two barrels. So every time you pump the action on the shotgun, it cycles two rounds into the gun. You can pull the trigger twice, then you run the action and reload it. You have to remember to pull that trigger twice. Now when it has, uh, when, you, when it's freshly loaded, it has two rounds in the chambers, you can put the gun on fire, but if you only fire one round, you will not be able to put the gun back on safe. So you're gonna have to empty out that second, the second tube. So generally I just fire both barrels. We're gonna be shooting some Rio brand 12 gauge. These are two and three quarter inch shells. It's seven and a half birdshot and it's advertised at 1280 feet per second. The DP-12 loads from the bottom, just like the KSG. And uh, yeah, to load her up, you just push down on this lever. It just loaded two shotgun shells, one into each of the two tubes. And uh, yeah, you can see inside there, there's two more rounds waiting for the next, uh, the next throw. So I will be firing two rounds. Jason is going to be the, uh, the official clay chucker. And let's go ahead and put this baby on fire. And whenever you're ready, all right, pull. Ah, it. Ah, got him. All right. <laughs> there we go again. Whenever you're ready. Pull. Oh! <laughs> I always got to remember to fire that second round. All right, guys, so the gun should be empty. You want to make sure when you're shooting the DP-12 that you're super careful with it because it does have that little quirk I mentioned a little bit ago about not being able to put it on safe after only firing one of the two barrels. But yeah, all the shotguns out here today are fighting shotguns. They're either going to have improved cylinder, basically open bore. None of them are going to have modified or full chokes in them. And none of them really are zeroed. I'm just using some LWRC sights I slapped on here. And uh, I still scored two hits with that bird shot. So... All right, let's grab a different shotgun. Again, we have a very eclectic mix of shotguns out here today, and they're really cool. So let's bring out the next one. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Origin 12. This is an outstanding shotgun. This one is an SBS. That means it is a short barreled shotgun. You've seen it on the channel before when it had an arm brace on it, but then the ATF said you can't do that anymore. So it was remanufactured into an SBS by my friends over at Foztech. So this is, for all intents and purposes, a highly modernized AK type 12 gauge shotgun. This thing is tiny, it's handy, and if you play Call of Duty, you can absolutely shred with this thing in that game. I've used it to great effect in the game, as a matter of fact. Now we have some Fab Defense flip up polymer sights on here, backup sights, again, not zeroed. We're gonna use one of its five round magazines with some of the same Rio ammunition in it. Let's go ahead and load the gun up here. And uh, it has really big controls, has a big ping pong paddle over here to release the bolt. You also have fire controls on both sides of the gun. And I'm gonna go ahead and load it up. And Jason, the official clay flicker, put this baby on fire. And I am ready when you are. All right, pull. 
Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so I broke that one without even firing a shot. Good shot. Good that was shot. that was me using the force. <laughs> All right. All right. Ready? Here we go. Here we All right. Ready when you are. Pull. Oh, Ooh. smoked him on the first shot. <laughs> Who would think that something like this? I, I would love to go to a, a clay range where everybody's out there with high end satori's and stuff and do this. All right. Ready when you are. All right. Pulling. Oh, oh, broke it again. You could have got him. He could have got him. He still had a big chunk. All right. Shooter ready? Yep. Pull. Ah. <laughs> did I nick him? Yeah, you did. Okay, good. At least Put I nicked him. I think, I don't know if I got any rounds left in here. Hold on. All right. Got one round left. All right. Ready when you are. Shooter ready and pull. Oh, got it out of the trap. <laughs> Something uh, tells me these discs may not have been handled well by UPS. All right, here we go. Pull. Well, this is getting way too easy. I'm seeing this. <laughs> All right, All last right. shot, last shot. Here we go. Here we go. Pulling. Yep. Oh, oh. and I missed. <laughs> How could you possibly miss with such a capable trap gun like the Origin 12 gauge? <laughs> I love this shotgun, guys. This is easily one of my favorite 12-gauge shotguns. Even when shooting birdshot, this thing runs just fine. Such a cool piece of hardware. But we're not done yet. We got some other cool stuff. Of all the shotguns we have out here this afternoon, this Origin 12 is my favorite. Yes, I love using it in Call of Duty. It's a fun video game gun, but just the size of it, the way the handguards look, the fact that it has a folding stock on it, it's just a tiny little blaster. And even though it's based on the AK, it's nothing like your average Saga 12 gauge. It's completely different. It's just a very, very cool gun to shoot. Now I have its standard five round magazine here. It's magazine release. There's one right here in the trigger guard. And then you have another one over here that you can release. Just grab it, push it with your thumb and pop the magazine out. Charging handles right here and it's non-reciprocating. And ping pong paddle release right there and just tons of fun all right guys so i reached way in the back of the safe to grab this relic out which is an 80s relic this is the mossberg model 500 bullpup i think we actually have a video out here out there on the shotgun uh, this thing is truly one of those oddities from the 80s. It's a very cool shotgun. It's a lot of polymer with just a Model 500 action setting back here in the butt stock. Uh, it has this vertical forend grip out here, which can be taken off, and you have some texturing there so you can pump it like a normal shotgun if this could be considered normal. And it has some very, very rudimentary sights. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera, but it has a front blade that's about as wide as my pinky, and it has a V-notch about as wide as my pinky in the rear. I'll get a picture of it for you guys so you can see it. So very imprecise sights, not zeroable. It loads from the bottom, just like any good bull pup, but it'll eject off the right-hand side. We'll put three rounds in there. Has a grip safety on it. All right, has one in the pipe. Has a cross block safety right here by the shooter's finger. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on safe. So Jason, the flicker, can get over here and flick us the clay. I gotta try to remember what the sight picture is for this thing. All right. All right, shooter ready? I am ready, I think. All right, pull. Oh. Oh, oh. darn. All right, while you do that, I'm gonna throw another round in here. The one that got away. All right, ready? All right, shooter ready? Yep. Pull. Oh, I got him on the second one. Yep. I got him on the second one. I had to I had to pump the thing because I forgot to pump out the empty. <laughs> so, uh, all right, I'm gonna throw one in the chamber here. Then we'll try one more. Ready when you are. All right, shooter ready? Yep. Pull. Oh. Ah. Oh. I'm trying to aim under. Maybe I should aim over. We'll try one more. One more, one more. I don't think there's enough. Uh... Hold on one sec here. All right. Ready. Pull. Nope. <laughs> Gonna have to go with the one hit on the second shot. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Probably not my first choice if I was gonna go out and challenge those Satori guys. Yeah, let's see what else we got because we're far from being done.
All right, so next up is the SBS KSG. You heard me right, this is a short barreled shotgun. I think it has about a 13 inch barrel on it. it. Has two magazine tubes down the side of it, or underneath the barrel, I should say. And then under here is where you load the shotgun, where it feeds from the two tubes, much like the DP-12. And then we have the selector lever here to pick which magazine it's going to feed from. All right, so I'm gonna pick that magazine. I'm gonna go ahead and load it up. I'm gonna put three rounds in it. Let's see how well this little guy does. Same Rio shotgun shells. All right, and so you have the release right here by your index finger, you push down on that to release it if the hammer's cocked. And uh, yeah, that's it. Have a Vortec red dot sight on here. Has a little light in front. I don't want to point it at the camera, but uh, there's a little button, a little switch on the side here, and I can push that. And there's this little tiny flashlight in front of the shotgun. I'll shine it over at the other camera there. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and uh, load one up and get my clay flicker ready. All right, shooter ready? Shooter is ready. All right, pull. Oh, got, got him. It. <laughs> <laughs> Who would think this little 13 inch stubby could pull that off? All right, here we go again. All See right. if that was pure luck or not. Shoot ready? ready? Pull. Oh, oh man, blew awesome. that one up. That one was done for. Oh, this would really give the guys at the shotgun club fits. All right, here we go. Ready? Ready? Yep. And pull. Oh. <laughs> three for three. All right, guys. So it's a toss up between the uh, TS-12 and the little stubby here. I love the KSG. Now, if you guys go back to my early videos, my very first KSG I bought myself as a birthday present was far from, you know, something I enjoyed shooting but they've evolved over the years. They've made a lot of necessary changes to them. And this has been an outstanding shotgun. And these things really shine when you use the uh, mini shells in them. You can get a lot of shells into them. And this is just a short, handy little package. And it's outstanding for skeet shooting or trap shooting or whatever you call this, what we're doing out here. It's not something I normally do. I definitely would love to take this thing to the local trap club. <laughs> Probably kicked me out before I even uh, got on the firing line. The DP-12 is definitely one of the most unique shotguns we have out here this afternoon because of its method of operation. Having two shotgun barrels side by side, which is unheard of, double barrel shotguns have been around for a while, but being a pump action and loading them both simultaneously is a bit different than requiring you to pull the trigger twice before running the action to reload it. Kind of causes some people in the beginning at least to kind of stumble with the gun. I still kind of stumble with it because it's weird to pump once, fire twice. I'm so used to my old 870 I grew up with where you pump, pull the trigger, pump and pull the trigger, right? So anyway, we're gonna see if we can knock Mr. Rubber Dummy over here. Put this bad boy on fire, load two rounds. Couldn't knock him over. But he put a lot of cinder blocks on him too, at his feet. So you get an idea how this thing works. It shoots really, really soft. It even has a recoil buffer built into the butt plate. It's on a spring. <laughs> Next up is the Clever Girl, the Spaz 12 shotgun. This is another very popular video game shotgun, another blast from the past out of the back of the gun safe. This thing is a 12 gauge shotgun that's either semi-automatic or pump. I have it set up into the semi-automatic mode. And yeah, it has this top folding stock, although there were some that had fixed stocks on them, but this is an iconic shotgun from the old action movie 80s, and an absolute pleasure to shoot. I have never shot this thing at Clay's before, so this will be my first go at it. All right, I will assume the position. Jason, whenever you wanna flick, you're free to flick. I am ready. All right, here we go. All right, busted that one right out of the trap without even firing a shot. Perfect. All right, I'll try not to use the force on this one. I'm ready when you are. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I may just have to go after a fragment. I'm thinking so. All right, here we go. All right, ready? All right, here we go. First pull, the trigger did nothing, and the second pull fired. Have no idea what that was. <laughs> Literally nothing on the like dead trigger, then second pull fired. All right, try it again. Here we go. Ready? Yep. Pull. There we go. That was a good hit. All right. All right ready? Yep. Pull. And got him again. Go. Yeah, that was weird on that, that first trigger pull. It was dead. Went all the way back. I released and pulled again, and it fired. 
Yeah, she's an old shotgun, guys. They usually work pretty well, but they are a little bit quirky and you do have to go through and replace certain pieces. This one I had to upgrade a number of parts in it because they were highly worn. And so, uh, yeah, don't shoot it a whole lot because spare parts are hard to come by, but there is a website out there. Um, I think it's spas12.com. If you're looking for parts to get your gun up and running again, check them out. I think it's a spas12 project. Uh, check them out online because that's a great resource to get your old gun up and working again, should it not be working. I get asked all the time, Mac, how can I get involved in the firearms industry? Well, there's no easy answer, but one way you can easily get involved in the firearms industry is to become a certified gunsmith. Modern Gun School has been teaching gunsmiths since 1945. It is accredited college, and also if you're a veteran and have a GI Bill, you can use that to enroll at Modern Gun School. So please swing by and check them out. I have a link in the video description below. The next shotgun is the IWI TS 12 gauge shotgun. This is a semi-automatic gas operated shotgun. It borrows heavily from the SRM 16. You may remember that shotgun from many years ago. It had a tubular magazine like this one. This one has a tube magazine underneath it that is not easily removed. The original SRM 16, you could pop the magazines out and put new ones in to reload it. This one reloads through the loading gate here on the side. The gun does have a charging handle up here and it has kind of a Tavor style to the pistol grip and a cross block safety. And it's really a, a mild shooting shotgun to load it up. Let's go ahead and do that now. The bolt's already locked to the rear. I'm just gonna push three rounds into the loading gate here. All right, and then all I have to do is turn the magazine. And when I turn the magazine, this bolt's gonna pick up a round and drop it. Oh, I've gotta push this button in the trigger guard first. Rotate it and boom. All right, she's loaded and ready to go. All right, Jason, now I got an EOTech on this bad boy. Let's right. see how we can uh, fare with this. Shooter ready? Shooter is ready. Pull. Whoa. Smoked it. That was like a really solid hit. That was a really good hit. All right. Shooter ready. All right, pull. Whoa. Oh, man. Dude, that thing is. <laughs> I don't know, that might be the best trap gun there is. We may have to take a visit to the uh, skeet club here. All right, sure. when you're ready. All right, pull. Dude! <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have to say that this one is one of the best shotguns out here. Keep in mind, we're not running a full choke or anything on this. I'm just putting the EOTech dot right on that bird, and it's blown them up, man. It is hitting solid. All right, that's pretty cool. This would be hysterical to show up to your local trap and skeet club with, I think. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video doing a little bit of clay shooting with some rather unconventional shotguns. If you guys like to support us here at the Military Arms Channel, again, a great way to do that is to become part of our Patreon family. There is a link in the video description below. Also, right here on YouTube, underneath the video player you're watching right now, you got that little join button. Mash that join button and you can support us in the age of demonetization, again, right here on YouTube. And last but not least, guys, please swing by and check out coppercustom.com. Thank you for 14 years of support. We'll talk to you guys soon. Almost.